Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Snake Lady and today I have Little Estrella with me. And uh, she's doing really good at the moment, just hiding away, trying to keep warm at the at the minute, what with the weather getting colder. And uh, yeah, so with mention of getting colder, today I'm gonna show you how I've insulated my vivariums, mainly the vivariums that back onto um, a couple of windows that I've got in this room. So. As I say, winter will be on its way very soon and um, it is actually starting to get a lot colder now. So um, I decided I wanted to insulate um, four of my vivariums. So that's Artemis, Astraea, Zephyrus and Aristeus. So um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how I insulated their vivariums. And um, I'm also doing it just to sort of keep the cost of heating down. So the more heat that I can keep in those tanks, the less likely the thermostats are going to then trigger the heat mats to come on, as it were. So, um, so yeah, that's why I decided to insulate. So anyway, without any further ado, I shall just get straight on with the video. This girl's wanting to hide today, but <laughs> so yeah. So without any further ado, I shall just get straight on with the video. And thanks very much for watching. So I have these foam mats uh, which have come from Tesco. Now they were five pound a go during the summer, but then when the summer came to an end and we hit autumn and they went down to something like one pound 50. I got this or these, cause I've got a few of them now, um, so that I could insulate the vivariums uh, when it gets into the colder months, because as we know, all the energy bills have gone up and whatnot. So I just want to try and keep as much heat in the tanks as possible, cause this room can get quite cold um, I live by the coast and when the wind blows it's absolutely freezing so anyway I wanted to insulate their tanks so I'm going to put this around the outside of their tanks with the foil bit sort of on top of the tank if you see what I mean and on the side and uh, it's blue on the other side so basically when I put it on their tanks the blue bit will be showing and the foil bit will be underneath hopefully reflecting the heat back into their tanks or vivariums. I think they're like six foot long or something like that so uh, they should be perfect for covering the sides and the top of the tank so uh, yeah without any further ado I shall just get straight on with that. So these are my foam mats that I'm going to uh, surround the vivariums with. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I've already started with these ones, sort of folding them the other way so they're easy to apply to the tanks. And these two silver ones are just how they came. So uh, yeah, so they're my five foam mats. Right, so I've just slid this mat. As you can see, I've opened it up. So yeah, so I'm just gonna slide this mat down sort of behind um, Australia's vivarium and then I'm gonna do Artemis's uh, vivarium as well. But I'm gonna slide this down and I'm deliberately not gonna block the uh, ventilation holes because we need those. So anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna get on and try fixing that. I've got these, um double-sided sticky foam things to attach the foam mats with, so uh, yeah. Well, I've done the top bit, I've stuck that and then I've just kind of stuck it loosely here and um, there's quite a lot of wires so um, and just to bear in mind this is only going to be temporary through uh, winter. And I've done the same with this side so I've done like the top bit and the bottom bit as well. So I'm just putting some more of these sticky pads on here just to sort of neaten everything up a bit 
and just keep the insulation close to the tank. Okay, so it may not be the neatest, all that amazing looking, but I have got those foam mats with the uh, sort of foil side on them. As I say, the foil side is against the tank to reflect the heat back into the tank. So, and this blue side's obviously on show, which is all right. But yeah, as I say, it's not the neatest, but it'll do for now. I've left some gaps like so, so the air can come in and circulate a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I've not completely covered the holes in the tank up. So I don't know if you can see there. So yeah, so that at the back really isn't the best light, but you can kind of see the foily side through the vent holes, but it's very loose against the uh, vent holes. Yeah, that's better. Um, but yeah, so anyway, hopefully that'll be all right. We will just have to wait and see. So this is the side of Zephyrus's tank and I've just kind of put a sticky pad there with obviously this foam sheet. I'll put a sticky pad here as well. Again, not my greatest work. I think, I hope you can all see that. Sorry about the mess down there. <laughs> but yeah, so yet again, I've kind of loosely put it around the tanks. So that's that side. And then we move on to this side. So that's all down there. I've cut a bit out because of the way these tanks are whereas this one I've just done um, you've got a whole lot more window um, and possible air coming through and whatnot so this is um, Artemis's tank and the strayers it's all insulated down the sides on the top and then sort of down the back if you can see that, I don't know if you can, but yeah. So that's all done, they're done. And then we've got Aristeus's tank and Zephyrus's tank done all on the sides. Haven't done the top, I might do the top, I'm not sure. Um, but I have definitely done the back, if you can see all that. Yeah, so that's those insulated. So as you can see from the video, um, it was a bit of hard work putting all that over the tanks and getting them all sort of in the right place and whatnot. I've also um, fixed the uh, foam rolls with the foil bit on. I fixed those with a bit of uh, electrical tape as well on the outside of the tank. So um, they are sticking like really well. I just don't want anything coming undone or you know flipping out of place as it were so uh, that's basically you know what I'm doing this winter to keep my snakes nice and warm and make sure that the heat stays in and one thing or another and um, I'm also obviously aware of humidity because there will be slightly less ventilation than what they'd normally have because obviously those foam mats cover um, those back vents a bit but I, as I say I've left a bit of space between the foam mat and the um, sort of vent holes as it were so um, yeah so anyway I'm going to keep an eye on that if humidity gets too high then I'm just going to get my desk fan that I've got out and I'll have it aimed towards these tanks and whatnot but at the moment you know it's pretty good the humidities are all right so um, yeah anyway I'm not going to be using any extra heat mats because as I say I'm trying to save money on electric and one thing or another so I thought what's a better way to try and keep the heat in the heat that they've already got so yeah that's exactly why I've put these foam mats round those particular tanks and um, 
yeah so let me know what you're doing to keep your snakes and reptiles warm this winter are you adding any extra heat or are you using insulation like i am uh, just let me know i'd actually be really interested to know so that's it for now so um if you've enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos and if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that then just pop them in the comments section below and i'll do my best to answer but for now from myself and a very heidi squiggly <laughs> astraea it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video thanks very much for watching <laughs>